Hello everybody, welcome back, especially to my colleague Daniele who asked for a shout out. Ciao Daniele. Okay, so today's notebook. This uh, originated from a question asked on a quarterly mailing list. A bit of background first. As you might know, Quantlib provides a few classes for the Black Shows process and a few related processes. Uh, they all inherit from a base generalized Black Shows process uh, class uh, and uh, they have different, uh, mm, not capabilities, different definitions. Let's say we might have a look uh, at, a, at a few of them here in this uh, AMX window. So this is the base class, generalized black shows process. It takes uh, the value of the, the current value of the underlying the structure for the dividend yield, the risk rate, and uh, the black volatility. Other processes who inherit uh, from which inherit from uh, from the base class uh, have uh, some constraints. For instance, the black shows process, the, the one from the original paper doesn't have any dividend yields, so it just takes uh, the underlying, the risk-free rate, and the black volatility. And the one which is of interest to us today, the black, the black process also doesn't take dividend yield, takes underlying risk-free rate and black volatility because it assumes that the dividend yield cancels out with the risk-free rate, so they are the same and the cost of carry is equal to zero. They are actually implemented that way. If we go to the implementation of the constructors, you can see the shows process calls the constructor of the base class with a null dividend, a structure for a dividend yield which has a null rate, this zero here. Whereas the black process calls the constructor passing the risk free rate as both dividend yield in the dividend yield and the risk free rate place. So they are the same and even when the risk free rate changes they keep being the same and cancelling out. So back to the notebook. Uh, we can use these classes uh, just in, 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 the, in the same way engines taking a, black, a generalized black shows process will take any of these classes. So for instance we can create here quotes for at, at 100 for the underlying, 1% for the rate, 20% for the sigma. We build flat curves for this free rate and volatility. So we can check that the dividend obeys the, the, the constraint we have uh, we have implemented. So if we create a black if we instantiate a black shows process with these three inputs, we're gonna have a dividend equal to zero. If we instantiate a black process instead, the dividend yield is going to be one percent, just like the, the risk free curve. What happens if we pass this to um, to an engine, for instance, for a, for a European option, we'll have a call option at uh, strike at with strike at 100. So at the money in uh, 100 days. So this one uses the, the first process, the Black Shows process, and the second one uses a black process. Uh, their MPVs are of course different because the dividend yield is uh, is different. Well, I would say that the, the, the cost of carry is different because we are not we don't really define uh, in principle we don't really define dividend yield for for um, some of those. Okay, the MPV works. Uh, the Greeks also work, uh, and uh, but the, the the question on the mailing list. Uh, was born from the from the, the fact that uh, well, it, what happens if you want? What do you do if you want to check the the, the, the risks you're getting? Because well, you want to 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 to, to check the, the analytic outputs of the of the formula in the pricing engine. Well, what uh, we can do? I have another notebook on this, so you can probably find it 
on the, 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 the well, I don't remember if I actually recorded it, but well, anyway, you can calculate the Greeks numerically. So, for instance, uh, if you want to calculate the Greek with respect to a certain quota, this might be the underline or the, the, the flat level of the volatility or the, 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 the risk free rate. What uh, you can do is uh, you, you increase uh, the quote, the value of the quote by a bit, uh, you decrease it, you get the, the, the corresponding MPV of the option, you decrease it, uh, you get the MPV of the option again, and uh, you can calculate the, 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 the derivative numerically. This function does exactly that, so we can, for instance, compare the delta from the pressure engine and uh, the numerical delta that we get by perturbing the underlying by 0.01 apart from some numerical error they are the same the same goes for option 2 the delta is different this one is the black process who uses the black process the other one used the, the black Scholes process but they are still the same the same goes for for the vega for, and uh, the raw of the first option and the raw of the second option not in this case well this was what prompted the question what's happening in this case we're using a black process we ask the option for its uh, raw and but if you calculate it numerically by perturbing the risk free rate it is wildly different well the problem here is that the engine works with the generic Black Scholes formula, and uh, well, the, 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 the implementation of raw just returns the value of uh, the, the, the analytic formula for that. So, the derivative with respect to the rate of the Black Scholes formula for the call option. This, in this case, is a bit too generic because this doesn't know about the particular kind of process we have passed them. In the case of uh, when, uh, what I mean is, if the risk for rate and the dividend yield are not, um, are not don't move together for some, for, like in the case of the black process, this is uh, the formula is correct. In our case, though, the dividend yield is constrained to be equal to the to the risk for rate, which means it is a function of the risk for rate. Well, it just happens to be the identity function, but it's it's a function. Of the risk rate and the derivative, the, the, the numerical derivative that we're getting, and uh, which is probably the one that we want to, 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 to know in this case because it's how the, the option actually moves when the, the rate changes, is the total derivative with respect to the to the to the to the rate, which means that not only is this first part, the part returned by the raw, the partial derivative with respect to the risk free rate, but it's all also the derivative with respect to the dividend yield times, well, 1, which is in this case the derivative of the dividend yield with respect to the rate. So it's the, the, the sum of these two terms, which in our case are the raw and the the dividend row for the second term, derivative with respect to the dividend yield. If we compare the numerical Greek with the sum of these two terms, we get the again results which are close apart from, from numerical errors. So is this a bug in our implementation or not? Well, maybe, meaning that in this case the correct row would be the sum of the two terms and uh, we probably should put some kind of uh, of uh, code in the engine that detects uh, this particular kind of process well we should probably mm, not it's not pretty but we should probably downcast the try to downcast the process to a black process and in that case uh, change the, the the what raw returns but uh, this is uh, just the same, this is probably something that you should be aware of, uh, since it might happen that, uh, well, it might happen that the, 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 the risk-free rate and the dividend yield have the same numerical value, so they are not uh, the same, but they are both 1%, say, 
so you you decide that you can just uh, pass the the same curve for uh, for, uh, for 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 both of them to a black scholes merton process that takes risk free rate and dividend curve in this case again you have uh, the delta the delta returns the, the, the numerical the, the same uh, value as the numerical greek and uh, again the raw returns uh, a different value from what the numerical greek returns the numerical greek in this case again returns the raw plus the dividend raw this is uh, the 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 how could we say the dual case of the is the same problem but in, in the situation is different in this case the analytical raw is uh, the correct one because uh, well, unless it, we, we wanted this two to be the same and remain the same, which, well, doesn't make a lot of sense with this kind of process. This raw is the, the analytic raw is the correct one, is what happens when the risk free rate moves, because the dividend yield is not supposed to move in that case. Still, it can be confusing to see a numerical Greek, which is, which is different. So, well, just saying this is probably something you you should be aware of and and uh, be be wary of okay i guess that's it for today and uh, well see you next time